Go. Hey, what? Daddy YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have uh, Pronamel here, and we have this beer. This is the very first beer from this brewery I've ever had. This is the very first beer from this state I've ever had. This is from Tampa, Florida. This is Cigar City's Big Sound Scotch Ale. Insane memory there, Chad. And this oh, can you turn and it a little bit towards you? This towards is you, a, yes, and because. move your pinky and your, yes. Just because I'm an Wow, there's a lot going on in that label. Just because I'm an egotistical douche. This is brought to you by Average Joe. Shut but the it, fuck up, Joe. They're trying to do a review. Well, I wanted to mention that this has been aged like a year. Yes, yeah, so this oh, is a year okay, old enough. Scotch Ale. 9% alcohol. A big, malty Scotch Ale. Uh, now, you haven't had their highlight. That was the other beer that I had. You will get it at some point. And it's a fantastic IPA. I'm sure you'll get it and be like Smoke! Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Joe Hopefully our parents will hear that when they're at the slots tonight. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. So. My mom's already home in bed. Any Tampa Bay Lightning fans out Washington there? Movie. Sorry about Stamkos. Yeah, hey, an actual hockey fan on the fucking, this is great. <clears throat> Done. Canada's going to feel that at the Olympics. It's, uh, it's a loss for all of us. Also, shout out to the Buffalo Sabres for firing the piece of shit Darcy Vergeer <laughs> and the rest of the fucking shitty <laughs> coaching <laughs> staff. Ron Bolston, fantastic. <laughs> So, yeah, that's just brown. What style is this? Scotch, Scotch ale. ale. Scotch. Scotch ale. So it should be very malty, caramel, toffee, all that stuff. It what do we get? fucking delicious. It smells like a cider, though. Did you smell it out of the bottle? Yes, I did. I, mean, I don't know if I'd say cider well, myself, but... Go for it, man. Lots You're of driving. fruit esters. It kind of comes off with a little bit of a sour Nothing scent. Matters? I hit the sour, yeah, for sure. Reminds me of a mix. It reminds me of a Timmermans, Lambic. Oh, not that intense. That was like a straight apple cider. Like I, really I'm not saying that intense. I'm just saying it reminds me of it. I'm getting some 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 uh, smoke quality to it. Yeah, some, a free smell. Some smoke quality. What? Well, yeah, like a like a like almost like not as you quite okay? a smoke right. porter, but definitely your typical scotch ale. Like Joe, a nice you want some more? Not yet. How dark is the scotch supposed to be? Uh, usually a little so lighter than that. A red, red color. Yeah, or? you're usually looking for red. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. dark. It's more, more of a brown than a red. Can I bother you guys to smell it out of the bottle? It smells delicious. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is, to me at least, the fruitiest Scotch ale I've ever had. It's like a fucking jammy dodger. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting some apple fruit esters. Not quite apple, apple ciderish. Apple and a little bit of uh, pear. Yeah, pear. Yeah, yeah. I can I can taste both of those. But I'm still getting the uh, like the smoky. Oh yeah, really I'm not saying it's bad. Quality. I'm not yeah. saying it's bad. But yeah, smoky, roasty, caramel. Well, well, like I said, you got to remember, this is an aged bottle, so maybe yes, some of it's the... Yes, it's a year old, who yeah. knows what's happened to it in that year, but I don't know what this tastes like fresh, but I like it mm -hmm. the way it is. I'm not going to say it's an amazing scotch ale, but I really like what it's turned into. 9%? 9% alcohol, again, very wow. mellow, but it's a year old, so was it this mellow at the beginning? I'm pretty sure every beer we had tonight has been like 9 plus percent, and everyone tastes like it's 6. It's unreal. <laughs> yeah, they're... The only thing with the high ABV, only one of them smelled a little more alcoholic, but that's it. The taste, definitely not. Very malty, like you said, very malty. How about you, Jack? Get a little bit of cherry I, in I there, too. I think this one tastes, tastes like a 9%. I think it's got, it's got the flavors, and it's almost got like a... It reminds me of a bit of wine, like drinking wine a bit. There is a it's wine... It's got that fruity, like, wine taste to it, where you know it's a bit higher, but it's not, uh... Well, you know, you know what he said? He just said he got a little bit of cherry. It's almost, yeah, it's almost like a wine characteristic. It's not, it's not full-blown, but it's definitely there in the background. You yeah. You can taste it. Hmm. Yeah, this is, like you said, Chad, right from the beginning, this is a very fruity scotch ale. But again, we haven't had it fresh. It's a year-old no. bottle. Who knows what it did? I apologize for aging it, with but it, again, eh? last year I that know that with I, it? I don't Pretty care good. if it's been aged or not. I just loved getting the chance There's to try more. it. I can cross it off. I He's might still try upstairs. some anyway. Um, but this is a good beer. I'd give this an eight. Just on uh, just on the dot, I'd give it an eight because 
I'd go out of my way to find it, but I don't think I'd go after it all the time. Uh, yeah, and it depends. And again, a fresh bottle might be better, might be worse. But yep, yeah, that, that's the other thing too, right? Once I buy a fresh bottle, who knows if it would stay in eight or if it would go down. How about you, Jared? I'm going to go 7.5. I, I think it tastes good. And uh, it's got that dry. It's got a bit of a dry feeling to me, yeah. where I want to. I just want to drink more of it, mm -hmm. and uh, I like that. I think it's pretty good. That's a you know that's a great. Uh, it reminds me a bit of uh, a red wine. Great tasting on your part because I agree with you. The dryness is there. Right? Like you want to continue to draw drink this to get rid of that dryness, but you can't because it's a dry beer. Yeah. Eight two five for me. It's it's pretty fucking tasty. How about you, Dev? I don't know if I'd go and buy it again, to be honest. Like, really? it's, it's okay, but I just, I don't know. I've had other Scotch ales that I like just a lot more. I, I think the fruitiness is throwing me off a little bit. Yeah. And the kind you don't of, like fruit. That's well, right. No, but, right? But again, that might, be an age, that might be an age thing where you're getting more of the yeah. fruity esters as it continues to age. I'm not really positive. So. Just the kind of wine characteristic. Like, I drink beer. I don't really <laughs> dabble in anything else. And, uh, what a beer it's, snob. It's, makes sense. It makes sense. It's, it's a bit... Oh, For I'm, you, I don't know. I'm not only say off-putting, mm -hmm. but it's just I don't know. It's different I, what you expect from a scotch. That's what you're saying. Like yeah. It's not typical to a scotch. It's it's good. I just don't know if I would buy it again. So that's why I'm at six seven five. Seven, a bit of a uh, cherry. Like a black, you a black what cherry. You That's what I was like. Yeah. yeah. Well, sure. when I try it, I could probably give it like a seven two five seven five. Nice. Yeah, I mean, you're at first I was just getting seven two five. That's all I drank. The black seven cherries started coming out. Yeah, the, you know more what? More of a sipping beer, though, for sure. You said cherry, but black cherry would be more appropriate for sure. Yeah. I mean, food, Jared. Food, Jared. Food. <laughs> so, so we're talking about food, eight, food and beer all night. Eight two five or eight. This would be I'm gonna go eight two five. Eight two five seven five six seven five seven two five. Eight point two. Sorry. A cheesecake or a dark chocolate cake with this would be. This would be a cheesecake. Are you talking? Are you talking traditional North American cheesecake? Are you, on, are you talking about like dry cottage cheese European cheesecake? So that makes a big difference. I'm not sure the difference there. Oh, I have to bring some but, then. Uh, I'm I have to bring some then. Like a New York style cheesecake. Yeah. Would this would be great. Yeah. Um, with no topping. No topping, no, no, just, just a nice plain. cheesecake. And That's drink the, all the cherry you this need. This is your topping. You That's know, all the cherry you need. You bite of that, you drink a sip of this, and be great. There you go, it's done. Yeah. I think it says it takes at least nine months for you to almost get to the point of black forest or, or, or chocolate, chocolate cake or something like that. would be great. Oh, you're talking yeah. about black forest cake. Black forest. That's what yeah. you just said. It's yeah, yeah, those little cherries on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm curious if you could boil this down into a, what would happen if you boiled it down into a paste almost. Like a syrup? No, try yeah. to reduce it, right? Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> use that then, because you were just talking about this being your topping. I wonder what would happen if you use this. For you to reduce it, topic. eh? And try to I put, and try nice. to use it? I think, I think it'd be good. I think that's an experiment waiting to happen. Right? I think it's well done and uh, I would buy it again. I would drink it again. Solid, man. Thank you, too. Goodbye. Glad somebody's drinking that you